All right, so in this video, I'm going to be going over the uh, exploit for the latest, uh, I call it dirty net table. So it came out, uh, the exploit code was released about a week ago, give or take. So I'm going to go over that here. Where is it? It is not. All right, so just a brief before I go over it. This is the exploit code. <clears throat> it works for all on Linux kernels anywhere from version 5.14 to 6.6. .6. So version 6.7 is safe, but most systems, like right now, especially on the kernel CTF, are like not version uh, 6.7. Actually, I probably can grab a kernel CTF ISO. That would be good to test on. That would be perfect, actually. Um, now, this is uh, a bit of the process here. Uh, I'll go over how it kind of works, but here you can see I've got, a, I've got some raw stuff here I'll showcase. So um, how it works, basically it uh, causes a memory address to open up twice, the same memory address to open up twice. And the, on the uh, NF tables, so it basically breaks a firewall, the IP tables firewall. Uh, it sends a special packet, and then it uh, lets you essentially um, run some uh, uh, specific uh, code to be able to leverage that memory address, and then uses a page, dirty page directory, which is another kind of uh, similar to like Dirty Cow, another kernel exploit in the past, and then that gives us uh, privileges. So it does work. This is what it looks like if it fails. It says fails to detect overwritten PTEs, and if it's successful, then it gives you a little shell. So, uh, or a root session, more like. So I'm gonna run through it here. I've gotten it down, there's two ways to do it to build it and use the pre-compiled. I'm going to do the pre-compiled um, and I'll try the uh, build version, but we'll see how it works. So I've got a brand new Ubuntu. This is Ubuntu uh, 2204. I haven't even installed it. This is brand new. So this is going to set itself up and no, that's nifty. I want to add this to my sources here. Now, while that's loading, here's the uh, NIST info. It's a 7.8 on the CVSS score, so it's pretty high. Um, so if there are jail shells out there, you might be able to break it with this, but we'll see. Um, it's got a, a good amount of links as well. There is a patch for it. Uh, um, the patch was released. Let's see. Four three for this one's a penguin. The kernel dance. Okay. Uh, it's loading very slowly, I guess. There is a patch for it, though. A lot of the distros are sending the patch for it. But anyhow, let's test it. So, going to open up a uh, terminal. I'm going to showcase here what that process is going to look like. So I'm going to try it. You know, I'd like to make it. We'll see if that works. Um, okay, so I'm going to do my host uh, first. You name. I'm going to showcase the kernel number. This is Ubuntu. This is a 6.2 uh, Ubuntu 2204. Okay, this is pretty common in the Linux distros. We're gonna do we're gonna do a few other things here. We're going to uh, do the ID. We're gonna do just see what privileges we have. Uh, as Ubuntu we are here with this ID nine nine nine. and we are allowed all things because this is a fresh install, but what I want to do is I'm going to go through the process here. 
and just do it. So I'm going to first clone that repo. And we're going to see how it works. Not self win CVE 2024-1086. It's going to be interesting. Oh, so Git isn't installed in here. So I'm not even going to bother with that. I'm going to do the, the wget. So releases download. This is version 1.1.0. And this is just straight exploit. So I'm going to wget that. It probably sh this this should be on the system. Okay, uh, it's having issues finding github.com. Let's see if this is working. Okay, Cloudflare is working. Wget https colon forward slash forward slash github.com. How is github.com not being found right now? What? That's crazy. Oh no, okay, we, we resolved GitHub. That was weird. 404 not found. What is going on right now? Uh, okay, let's try this again. wget is working, https github.com forward slash not sell win forward slash cbe 2024 1086 releases download version 1 Point oh point oh forward slash exploit. That's really strange. Oh, oh wait, it downloaded it. That was weird. So now I'm gonna make it executable like this, and then I'm gonna clear that, and then I'm gonna run the exploit right that like that. All right. So this is what it does. It just creates a username space. It does all the uh, empty tables. It found a possible kernel base, uh, and great. So now uh, it has moved me into root. So that was pretty, pretty fast too, actually. Um, and just to confirm, let's let's look at the. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade my shell. Use Python. We're gonna do Python. We're gonna do uh, command import pty and then uh, pty dot spawn and we got forward slash bin forward slash bash that should probably work okay cool so uh, you can see right now sudo l we're going to do ID again. We're root for sure. And that's how this exploit works. So it's pretty interesting. I wonder how many systems and boxes can be looked at now because of this. This is a really, really easy privilege, uh, privilege escalation. And it works on pretty much all Linuxes right now, except for like the really new ones. So that's that. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay sharp.